Hello guys and welcome to another video of Cell Pulse Gaming. Today I wanted to talk with you about um, Last Oasis, Snail Games USA, um, Donkey Crew, which was acquired by Snail Games USA, and it's the developer of Last Oasis. Um, their new game um, that they are making and what that means for the development of Last Oasis and yeah, some backstory about that. And yeah, let's go. As you can see here on the screen, I already got some facts up. Um, we have the Steam DB page, um, a database that shows some some background information about games on Steam, and we can see the update history of Last Oasis here, and we can see that the last well real update with patch notes was on the 23rd of November four months ago, um, and that since then they only did some minor changes. I remember that they did a the hot fix that they only talked about on the Discord. They didn't do a patch note on Steam for it. Um, in December, they only did some changes to the to the Steam page of the game, some store tags, some descriptions, etc. On the 14th of March, they did some some things on the Steam page. They didn't. They here's a hot fix. They didn't say anything about what that hot fix contains on Discord. And generally speaking, they have been completely silent since this last big update of the Ancient City update, which was amazing, beautiful, um, magnificent innovative if that's a word and just amazing update in 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 general you know like something great something good that everybody liked it was in fact it was so good that i didn't even bother to make a video about it because it was absolutely broken and you literally couldn't play it on the first day until they made a hotfix which is up here somewhere and they said hey guys we're sorry our game is a little bit shit but we did a hotfix and now it's working you know and we're trying to continue to develop our game and they announced a pvp update which i have um hopefully somewhere here um maybe not uh, i don't remember wait where is it where is it where is it here it should be somewhere here um Oh yeah, they had a PvP update Q&A that they promised, oh, but we're, we're going to need a rain check on that one. A rain check? I don't know what that is. Um, is it somewhere here? Oh, here! We are still hard at work developing the things we've talked about and we'll be trying to release them as soon as we can. So this was on November 23rd, yeah, four months ago. Um, well, and since then they have been absolutely silent. Why is that? Well, because... If you look up here, we can see something called um, Bellride. Um, and in fact, that is the wrong page. That is Bellride. No, that is also not Bellride. Um, that is a Steam page and not for Bellride. D uh, moment, moment, moment. You find it if you go on the Steam store. You can already see it. And you can see here a new game. Well, aren't those beautiful screenshots? So. First of all, we obviously see down here, check out the entire Snail Games USA franchise. That's the company that owns Donkey Crew. And if we look over here on developer publisher, it says Donkey Crew. Amazing. So, um, let's not look at the game directly. Let's first look at some background information from SteamDB, which I have here for you. And um, I should have scrolled down because if you look on the update history and you are locked into SteamDB and you go to the total bottom of that page, uh, like this maybe, very, very quickly, very, very clicky, you can see we're already in 2022. Yes, we are in 2022, 17 months ago. Here we go. 4th of November, 2021. So this is the first time that Bellride appeared on Steam in the Steam database, whatever. And we can see here, package was published in the database. We have three different packages, probably some kind of, I don't know. I have no clue about, about Steam. Oh my goodness, please don't. Um, but anyway, it's listed here. Um, it's not yet published. The, the, the publishing of the Steam page is at the top. Um, are we at the top? I guess we are at the top here. We are. And in fact, they did some updates since I first looked at this page like nine hours ago, yesterday, etc., etc. And we can see the changes that they made to the store page listed here. So what we want to see is when they first published the store page, which, which was, if I remember correctly, here. Is that here? Yes, here. On 16th of March, so six days ago. 
um, app was published in the database. So this is when you could first see it on Steam in the store page. And you can see they, they added all kinds of descriptions here. Um, they added some um, tags, some user tags. So you can see RPG strategy, action, medieval, open world, city builder, building, crafting, survival, exploration, 3D, third person, single, single player, online, co-op. So no PvP. If you are a Lost Oasis player or any survival game player and you like PvP, this apparently doesn't have PvP in it. And then you can see they um, added some more information during the 16th of March. A few more, well, um, descriptions. Oh, here it has yeah, multiplayer, but for the online co-op, co-op, single player, um, RPG simulation strategy. <laughs> Um, then they added some screenshots, which we are going to look at in a second, some descriptions, etc, etc. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so that's basically it. And since then, they haven't changed anything on the store page, but yeah. And uh, they did a bunch of changes on the on the backlog, but I, we cannot see. Um, I think it, it needs a, a key or something for the to, to see the actual changes, which it doesn't have. Um, the Steam database, so you can only see that it did something on on the game, and you can see they they constantly are updating this. Like literally every day, they do something on it. Um, usually in the morning at the same time, so they're probably developing through through the day and then updating it. I guess at I don't know three twenty three whatever that time is. So anyway, um, yeah. Let's have a look at the actual game first, and then at the history of Donkey Crew. Um, so, the game you can see on Steam, this is the first image. This is, I, I mean, I, ha I have to guess that this is not in-game graphics, but like something, uh, it might be in-game graphic, who knows. Um, but also keep in mind this picture here for later. Um, this is, yeah, okay, cool, bell ride, bell ride. Yeah, I know how the game is called by now. Thank you. Um, so, um, we see it has a story framed for the murder of the prince and sentenced to death by the crown. You've been living in the shadows ever since, blah, 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 boring, 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 blah, boring, boring, boring. You will lead a rebellion against your homeland's oppressive sovereign to victory, uncovering the truth of your family's secret all the way. The battle shall ring for freedom once again. Okay, so we got uh, a story, some kind of background story. Establish and expand your own settlements. Liberate the land and assist its villagers and recruit others to your cause by learning more about the life you had to leave behind, blah, blah, blah. Okay, command your forces. That's an important one. Um, prove your wallow through combat and cement yourself as a hero of your people. So this kind of sounds to me like uh, a mountain plate. Because um, down here we will see this even more. This part here, I, it's a little bit confusing to me, to be honest, because it, it kind of sounds like Mountain Blade if you read Conquer and Expand, for example. Work your way up from a small camp to becoming the leader of a great rebellion. Um, improve your relation with settlements. That's grow your armies and liberate regions from the current to strength your cause. That's literally Mountain Blade. You're on a strategical map. You um, start with nothing. You basically recruit some people from the local village, you destroy some enemies, and then you have your own city. Okay, and you're on a tactical overview map, basically, on a, on a large uh, map. And when you go into battle, you go into um, third person or first person, and you can command your, your troops in formations, which it also has here, army command. Lead your armies into battle, commanding your squads in formations, and employ cunning tactics to your advantage. Um... Then we have um, anything else? Yeah, we have the story, blah, blah, blah. Deep progression. We have some kind of skill system, apparently. Um, we have recruits that you can that you can have that give you some benefits, I guess. Um, oh, skill-based directional combat, of course. Very important skill-based directional combat. Uh, Blast Oasis. Um, well, other games, but this kind of combat, I guess. Um, yeah. I mean, of, of course, variety of medieval weapons and armor, blah, blah, blah. So, now comes the important part. The history of Donkey Crew. And I want to show you the Steam community page. And this person, Dipshit Death, for example, the, um, a legend among men, I guess. He wrote uh, a pretty compelling um, overview. 
that I couldn't have said better in my limited knowledge. Um, and here you can see, third time's the charm. Game will never be what they say the history of Donkey Crew for you. Of kings and men. Um, abandoned after living a fraction of what they promised. Uh, game was given a free weekend, put on sale along with provinces of future updates shortly before being removed from purchase on Steam. And I have a YouTube video of the combat improvements of, of kings and men. And um, remember what I said at the beginning where you should look at the, the picture of a, of a person holding a bow. And let's look at the, the combat improvement video. And here we got a Persian with a bow. And we have some soldiers running around with... Why the fuck does it look like this? It looks terrible, I'm sorry. So, this game was, if I remember correctly, from like 2015, maybe. And I have to say, for 2015, it actually looks pretty decent. And it is set in a medieval world. You can see swords. You can see shields, you can see one-handed, two-handed swords. Um, do we have something where somebody shows a bow? Um, we see people shooting with bows at least. But anyway. Oh yeah, there's a guy shooting a bow. Um, but we couldn't really see him, unfortunately. But anyway. Oh, there, there you go, there you go. So what I wanted to say is... I have a feeling, I have a feeling that they're going to recycle an old game of theirs to make money for Snail Games, because Snail Games USA purchased Donkey Crew with the expectation that they would make the money. I mean, that's how money works. You buy something and you hope that it improves value if you are a company. And um, let me show you the, the page of Snail Games USA which you can also find here and um so we see first of all up here we see finish more responsible for playing arc i guess <laughs> we have the investment highlight down here we see some bullshit numbers 50 million units sold 10 billion dollar global franchise 216 countries okay cool bro uh blah 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 and down here we have some of their most important games i guess and in the front we have last oasis already Imagine, and Last of Us is right now going strong with a total of 132 players in game and actually 300 player peak. I can't really believe that. I don't know when 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 that was. Um, but yeah, 130 players right now in game, 300 out peak. Um, we have Dark and Light, an even better game um, with 92 players in game and 130 out. Uh, 24 hour peak, that's amazing, amazing. We have Atlas down here with like, I don't know, 1k players. We have Pixar, which is, I never played that, but it has 230 players, so it's, I mean, okay, cool, cool. Amazing game for a talent billion dollar franchise. And of course, the biggest boy in the whole pack, Arc Survival Evolved with 43,000 players in game. That's, of course, probably, I don't know, 99% of their $10 billion franchise and their $50 million, uh, I don't know, 50 million units sold. And apparently soon they're gonna have another cool game, I guess, Bell Ride. Why not? Um, yeah, and um, where was I? Oh yeah. Um, the development of Last Oasis, of course. The implications for the development of Last Oasis. So, um, we have, if we look at the recent events and announcements, first of all, they're, they're participating with Last of Aces in a Steam sale when they are not making anything. Okay, cool, that's reasonable, why not? Look at the reviews, the reviews are amazing. Um, so 57 user reviews in the last 30 days, and of those, a whole 26% were positive. Amazing, great. <laughs> Out of the 20,000 user reviews, 64% were positive in total. That is, that is, I mean, nah, not good. Not, not really good. Let's not cheat ourselves. Um, oh, oh, of course. We have here um, the early access game description. Approximately how long will this game be in early access? Uh, approximately 12 to 24 months, maybe. It's been now, well, it's been 24 months. Okay, why not? Cool. Um, yeah, then of course, this all this bullshit talk, blah, 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 yeah, yeah, cool, cool, 
cool, cool, cool, cool, cool. So, my biggest problem right now is, first of all, they they have been making a new game. They've probably been working on Last Oasis with an absolute, like, probably a literal skeleton crew. Where they have, like, one dead guy in the office sitting there and, I don't know, like, like with his bony little finger, like, trying to make some new shit for Last Oasis. While they're making a totally new game. And they're telling us, hey guys, we're gonna... We're gonna make all these updates for Last Oasis. Look, all our plans for the PvP update, all our plans for the Ancient City Overhaul, all our plans for, I don't know, Iron Maps, and all this bullshit that's still missing. By the way, there's still no Iron in, in, in Last Oasis Season 5, I guess. I, I mean, I haven't been playing it for, I don't know, three months now. But, eh, maybe there is now, and they just didn't talk about it. Who, who the fuck knows? Um, but if you look on the Steam page, you can see they're saying... More content when, yeah, yeah, blah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah, oh, meanwhile, we hope you enjoyed the new update, we completely changed the map, the new progressing system, and much more that we've got our sleeve in this patch, that we got our, our sleeve in this patch, okay, cool, amazing, the obvious problem is, why the fuck do you say you're making a PvP update, you're making all these changes, when you don't, when you work on a new game? Like, why? Why would you do that? That's I incredibly stupid from a branding perspective on business. Like, you are a business that's making games. The one fucking job that you have is making games. If you're making good games, people will buy you future games. If you make... I I'm not saying Last Days is a bad game. I have like 2k hours in it, so it's, it's probably not terrible. But if you're saying, hey, we're gonna make updates for our game, and then you don't, that's just lying. <laughs> that's just lying, man. I mean, it's just, at least, I I would accept if you just finished Last Two Aces with, like, the Season 5 updates and just continue doing them until it's done, in your opinion. That would at least be honest if you just said, okay, guys, look, we're gonna make this update, and then we're gonna make this update, and then Last Oasis is done. And we'll just leave it behind. It's it's good how it is then. We like it. That would have been okay. That would have been okay. But just saying, we're gonna make more content, and then you don't. That's incredibly stupid. And you're gonna see that in your continued um, career, I guess, as a studio, when you already have out of the free games that you are making, Kings of Men... Uh, Last of Aces and now Bell, right? And two of those, you just stop development without saying anybody that you did. Like, what the fuck is that about? That's, that's just terrible. And you can already see it in the Steam community of Bell, right? Every single post here, every single post here, even if we even if we refresh it. I like Rupus. Rupus are based. <laughs> really good devs. Surely they care about the community, I guess. 30 something insult. Hello, Donkey Crew. Oh, questions about Last Oasis. A little bit of piece, a little piece of knowledge. Transparency when in relation to a business means that you operate a business in a way that lets others outside of said business be able to see what you're doing. Yeah, that's helpful if you want to run a, a, a successful business where you are, uh, where you require people to trust you that you make a good product. And where are sand, Last Oasis. Don't buy this crap. All I wanted was a war balloon and talk copter. Rockpile development team, third times the charm, another Donkey Crew money crab. Trash manages a Taco Bell better than Donkey Crew. Cash grab devs. I want to say all the crew at DC. Thank you for I don't know. Uh for being the developers we need. The ones that hold them so <laughs> Okay, irony, nice. Skip over anything that has to do with Donkey Crew. Yes, that's helpful. Donkey Crew is terrible. Um, bell ride, more like gaslight. What happened to Allo? Can we know? Yes. Ah, amazing, isn't it? So much positive content to you, to your new game, Mr. Donkey Crew and Snail Games USA. So, um, is there anything else I wanted to say? Well, I mean, I think I already said all the points that I have. The last Oasis community wants a fucking PvP update that you promised us that we. I mean, I, I wouldn't say we paid for it because I don't know. It's twenty bucks, like two years ago for like 2k hours it's nothing but i think we deserve at least a somewhat done pvp update and it would help you as a company in your future reputation if you at least did the pvp update and then somehow finished the development of last oasis and said okay guys we're done with this and now we move on to the next project 
And maybe then you wouldn't have only negative comments on your fucking Steam page. And you would probably also... I, I can already assure you this that if this game comes out, this Bell Ride, they're gonna have so many people just uh, brigading the, the Steam comment section of this game saying Last Oasis is bad, Last Oasis, Last Oasis, Last Oasis, Kings of Man, Last Oasis, Kings of Man. If you do not finish Last Oasis, your next game and all the other games after this, they're gonna be fucking dead on arrival, okay? They're not gonna do anything because everybody's gonna know your games will not be finished because you are a bad company. You're saying shit that you do, that you want to do, and then you don't. That's just terrible business practice. That's just terrible business practice. And the Last Oasis community will never forgive you. The survival games community will remember, on a broader scale, what you have done to Last Oasis, what you have done to Kings of Man, what you have promised and not delivered. And it's going to be remembered. And it's not going to help you in your future development as a company and also snake games usa it will also not help you so just do something good for us to aces and then then you can move on we will we will release you with our blessing as a community onto bell ride why not okay have a, for now i think i think i've i've ranted enough i oh i think it's good for now I think you got the message. Um, for the people watching, I, I hope I hope you like Last Oasis. You have a good time with it. If not, there's a lot of other survival games out there. There's Dune Awakening, an upcoming game that looks very nice. There's Rust. There's a lot of survival evolved uh, from Snake Games, I say, ironically. Um, yeah, it's just, I don't know. Play what you like. Snake Games, uh, be better. Donkey Crew, fuck off. Um, and yeah, have a good one. If you like this video, subscribe, comment, etc. etc. Bye bye. Have a good one.